customers should be aware they will be breached, but this breach should not have a huge impact on their environment. It's basic security in a lot of cases, and sometimes it can't be addressed by the company before they have a major incident mm -hmm. uh, because of internal politics, unfortunately. Um, so it's the fact that too many users have administrator rights in an, in, in an industry or in an environment. Um, it's unrestricted um, RDP connections across the whole environment. And if we could limit this ability to move laterally and steal these credentials and, and minimize the rights, it, this would help us tremendously um, limit uh, the amount of lateral movement that goes on. Yeah, and as Jeff said, to limit this, first you have to know your critical uh, data. Where are your crown jewels? If you know them, where they are, what are your critical business processes? It's easier than to protect them, not allow every user have access to them or every from every network segment access to this critical environment. And when you came up with a proper network segmentation, you can prevent lateral movement. You cannot avoid it, but it also frustrates the attacker and this gives you time to identify the breach in a very earlier stage. Most of the time, the majority of our customers are new customers and they have not had to deal with a targeted threat actor before. What we see that more and more customers are reaching out to us and say, okay, how can we prepare our environment to remediate an incident? What are the steps they have to do to remediate the, uh, the incident? And also they want to learn out of it to uh, protect their environment and to increase the security posture. Companies must be aware they will be breached. And they still have the uh, opinion, this cannot happen to me. I bought a couple of security products. I'm best prepared. And this also the expectation is if they got breached, they will easily recognize this. This will feel like a huge impact on their environment, but not, that's not the truth. If we have a targeted attack, attackers are in for a long period of time, they are silent. It's not easy to recognize this and that's the main mistake. It's also a culture that has to be developed. Security is not limited to the security team. Security is a culture that needs to be part of the executive team, it needs to be part of the IT team, it needs to be part of every user. So culture of the environment actually has a big effect on their ability to um, pivot into an incident response. In Europe in general, it's pretty low compared to the US and the UK. Uh, this whole uh, uh, permeating security culture. It's about persons mm -hmm. and policy. Uh, we see a lot of focus on product. Product is only as good as your persons and policy. And if you're not getting good training to your people, if they're not able to use the tools that you're providing them, there's, there's a real um, risk there. Also these uh, plans need to be trained like a firefighter exercise. At least once per year you do major things like you do a password reset on critical environments to test if your plans are working, if the processes are working, and this will also uh, increase the awareness. If we accept the fact that we're going to be breached, then we have to decide how far are we going, going to really want to limit that breach before it causes us um, critical concerns. So every time it has to be really a custom thing. Uh, P PFI investigations, so investigations where we're looking for, for card data theft. Uh, in those investigations, we can't allow the attacker to steal credit card numbers every day in our investigation. So we have to treat that differently than if we're seeing maybe some, um, if, if we don't see any data theft uh, from the attackers or if we see data theft of uh, uh, intellectual property, we have to approach those a little bit differently. It really always has to be a custom plan. And also one important point is all about the communication internally and externally about uh, the breach so that the c uh, companies are prepared about it. So what to tell the user base, why they have to reset the passwords, why they have to do some uh, steps in this environment and not uh, stop spreading rumors. And also when the press is reaching out to them because they said, oh, we heard you got breached, what's the status? So that they are prepared about it. Similar, like I said before, with the bank robbery. If something like that happens, everybody is prepared. Communication department knows exactly what to tell the press, what to say to them. And the same should uh, needs to be happen in the cybersecurity field. We need to do some basic security, right? So we're, we're, we're missing the, that the, the fact that the attackers are in the environment. Um, the lessons are really you need to reevaluate where your current security is and get a baseline. I, I think 
the companies that we see, I can't speak for every company, but I can speak for the companies we see, are lacking, uh, lacking a lot of basic controls uh, and, and security. And not even controls. Also a key point is visibility. The customers do not have a good visibili visibility in their environment. This is then an, an, a problem. It's way too complex. Sometimes the environments are over-engineered and they also deal with a lot of uh, commodity applications, our legacy stuff in the environment. This needs to be cleaned up due to regulations where they have to announce that they got breached. It's also a, a risk thing. The cyber security insurance products are coming up. The lower the risk, the lower the costs they have to prepare. These remediation plans or recovery plans to stay in business. From our emphasis, I, I would say again, there needs to be a security culture mm. and it can't be limited to the IT security departments. It needs to be a culture in all environments.